friends and welcome to breeding rare and exotic horses. Now you guys enjoyed this save so much last time that I decided to do a second breeding on it. So we've got all of the guys from last time who are Heartbreaker, Daylight, Veil and all of the foals that we bred. And I had a look through them all and I thought that they were so pretty that we should continue to see what exotic horses that we can get. Now just before we start I do want to say that in the next year or so I'm going to be moving which means I'm going to be selling a load of my stuff on eBay, including horse models, equipment, all of that fun stuff. And if you don't want to miss when I'm selling stuff, you can go ahead, go to the link down below and follow me as a seller. Also, of course, join my Discord and come say hello and keep up to date with all the fun stuff I'm doing. So this horse has just caught my attention because I think it's not exotic enough. So I'm actually going to put it in the pasture before we start because I kind of want to free up some stalls so that we can just go absolutely ham on the breeding. Right, so the one thing that I'm sure we need to do is actually set a stud because we don't have one yet. Now these are all mares. Let's see, so we've got Cheeky Chariot. Who's that? Singing Skunk, I think we used quite a lot last time. Trouble Thought, I'm like, I'm not that interested in. However, Bearded Wine is interesting because this is actually the thumbnail horse that I got last time. I didn't actually record myself getting this horse, so let's just go ahead and set this as a stud and see what we get. I'm pretty sure this was bred with like like a generic like created horse that that rival stars did so we should have some decent pedigree now ooh, i don't know what all the, the videos are coming out in but i just played the rags to riches and i saw the screen for the first time so if you haven't seen that video yet go watch it this was kind of confusing to me at first however i can see now that there are four options that are like the games creation horses and then your stud is right at the bottom and we need this guy bearded wine and you can actually choose the horses now instead of like scrolling all the way through i am gonna miss the old screen but this one i guess works a lot better so for this i think i definitely want to do heartbreaker because heartbreaker is just gorgeous and of course i'm missing stuff so i have to buy it but that's fine as for the next horse of course we have to grab bearded wine again however this time i wanted to do fox's warrior now i kind of don't see this going particularly well for like the colors and the the patterns but you never know we might get something very interesting so we'll go ahead and quick buy that and the final breeding that we're going to do in this uh round is maybe howling holiday yeah we could do howling holiday i think that is the same pattern that heartbreaker has but it's fine maybe we'll get an interesting coat anyway so this is going to be very exciting. Let's go ahead and see what Heartbreaker has for us today. Now, she was very, very good last time. Okay, I'm gonna put that on a not very rare scale. It's a bay horse, super cool uh, coat pattern, but it's just a bay horse. I really want like a super interesting coat and a super interesting pattern, which I don't have here. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sell. I'm not going to be merciful this time. Actually, I'm not gonna start breeding just yet. I've got to see what Fox's Warrior brings us. Hopefully, it's slightly better than Heartbreakers. Oh, we're not getting very lucky today, are we? That is a very cute pattern. It's the same as the mums, but again, the coat is just so bland i don't know let's see how it looks grown up I, I actually like it better grown up actually but would you look at this horse if you saw it in the real world and say wow that's a rare and exotic horse probably not you probably would just say that that was a really cool interesting horse however i don't think it's going to make any top 10 lists so howling holiday let's see what you've got for us today Okay, so this is the father's, um, gosh, I don't actually remember what the pattern is called, but this is the father's pattern. I don't know whose color that is. Maybe the father's? I might have to have a look, but it is super cute. I think that's a really interesting coat. I, I think that coat color is super gorgeous. It's a grungy Sabino. Grunge. Wow. I was going to make a joke about the grunge genre, but then I couldn't think of any, so 
you can write yours in the comments if you'd like. Um, the base color is this super red, kind of reddish chestnut. Although it's not coming through super reddish, I don't know. I'd expect that to be darker, but that's a pretty interesting horse and that is a stallion. So I'm thinking we actually switch this over to our stud for the next round. Let's have a look at pedigree. Yes, yeah, so bearded one is actually a lot lighter than this horse. So, and we actually have a full kind of tree at the minute, which is important. We do have a double. That's fine, it's fine. Nobody is genetically testing these horses and they all come out perfectly fine. So I'm sure that it's not a problem. Oh, I keep doing Heartbreaker, so I think I'm gonna choose a different horse. Daylight, very interesting. I think I'll choose Daylight with a Cappuccino Crash. And, and we'll also do Veil. Now I know Veil is a custom creation horse, which means we have a less likelihood to get something super out there and interesting, but I, I just like this coat color so much. And the heart on her forehead is just so adorable. We're going to go ahead and set that breeding up. And finally, we are going to do maybe, oh, they don't look that interesting. Maybe Wednesday Whatnot? Yeah, sure. We'll do Wednesday Whatnot. Um, and we are kind of running out of items, but it's fine because we've got lots of expendable cash. So that's all set up now. We've got Wednesday Whatnot, Veil, and Daylight. I'm kind of interested to see Daylight, but I have this feeling that it's kind of going to be the same stuff over and over again, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and see what Daylight has for us today. Okay, cute. That is actually not Heartbreaker's color. I thought it was, but it's not. We're gonna go ahead and skip, and I'm not sure if maybe I'll be sending this horse to the paddock if it's not interesting enough. Okay, that, that turned out much more differently than I thought it would. That piece on its shoulder looks like a jigsaw piece. That's kind of cool. Is that rare and exotic though. I don't know. I do not know. Let me know in the comments if you think that that horse was rare and interesting enough to be kept on the breeding line. Now Vale, don't have high hopes for because again custom creation, but let's just see what we get anyway. Okay, so we've got that Grunge Vero. I think that's what it was called before. Again, but this color looks like it's just sort of a bay. That name was so long. Okay, yeah, so it's sort of um, Brontosaurus. That's an interesting name. So the pedigree is, ah, because we're kind of like missing on, on the, the mare's side. That does suck. Maybe I need to actually do one with like a random horse that on the market. Maybe I should do that next. I think I'll do that next. Right, let's just see what this horse has in store for us. Again, oh my gosh, this pattern has a death grip on these foals. Let's go ahead and just skip a vibrant edge. I don't think it's gonna be too interesting. Yeah, again, the pattern is super cool, but the color is just so not. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and send, actually, what does his pedigree look like? See, he has a full pedigree, whereas Bron Brontosaurus Brilliance doesn't. So we're gonna move him to pasture. And what about Cappuccino Crash? Pedigree, full pedigree. Okay, I'm fine with horses with a full pedigree. However, let's just have a quick sneak peek at the market. See, these aren't particularly interesting horses. They never are. So I think instead, we'll actually turn to using one of these horses. Oh, they're so bland. This is gonna... It's gonna kill me to have to do this. I think I'll go with Mysterious Novice because he's got a Rabicano. Um, enough of Heartbreaker. I wanna try and flesh out them family trees. Um, so we'll try Fox's Warrior, see what we get. Not, again, expecting something too big and flashy. However, this time I did, I did have my eye on Candle Mist. Not sure why, maybe it was the color. So I'm going to actually pair Candle Mist with Daylight. I really want to get that coat pattern somehow. Not sure how I'm gonna get it, but I'm hoping maybe this will put it in the gene pool somewhere. And for our final breeding of the lot, let's go ahead and go with Mysterious Novice again. And maybe we could do maybe physical planet again i don't have high hopes for this but it's fine we'll just see what we get anyway so we'll go right back to fox's warrior fingers crossed we've got something interesting let's go ahead and skip okay so it's sort of what is that that is is that a rabicana no it can't be okay i will actually have a look at her grown up telltale thursday that's a bit of a tongue twister 
Okay, ooh, that, oh my gosh, that chestnut is like my gorgeous, my gorgeous? That is my favorite thing ever, it's so gorgeous. I was just so excited I merged them together. That coat is so incredibly gorgeous. Not sure about the pattern though, I want to see what it's called. It's called Blood Pinto, interesting. I would say that's relatively interesting a coat. Rare? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm being too harsh and too judgmental on these horses But I kind of want something where the foal is born and I'm like, oh my goodness This is the prettiest horse I've ever seen in my life. I haven't got that yet, but maybe we will soon. Okay daylight. What have you got for us? Yes, this is what I was talking about. This is the pattern that I wanted now fingers crossed that when this horse grows up It's not going to be like a super bland chestnut First cipher, what do you look like growing up? Oh, it looks like a deep chestnut. <gasps> this is it. This is, oh my gosh, the timing. This is what I was talking about when I'm talking about I want a horse where I'm like, <gasps> exotic. This is it. This coat color, magnificent, as I said before. And this pattern is so unique. It is so strange. I don't think I genuinely have ever seen a horse in real life that looks like this. Um, and it has a crescent moon on its face as well. That's incredible. I'm so happy with that. So it's called a sparse leopard, which obviously means it's a real thing. Are oh, the base colors white? Dilution hidden and pattern hidden. Okay. So first cipher is a mare as well, which I'm so happy about. Oh my goodness. Okay. So physical planet, the pressure is off you. Don't worry. Uh, but I am still hoping for an interesting foal anyway. Okay. Um, gonna put that down as, as like, not really. Uh, this is a stallion, so we're gonna go ahead and skip. Lovely lighthouse, great name. And again, the coat for me is just a little bit too bland. I mean, th the pattern is interesting, but it's not like blow away interesting. Like, first cipher. I'm so glad I got this horse. This is incredible. I will be using her in the next set of breeding. So this will be our last set of breeding for today. But I think we're gonna get something really interesting. Now, it worked really well, but how about we refresh and see what else we've got. So we've got Lullaby Ingredient, that's a grade 3. Um, complicated Shade, that's a boring bay. I love bays, please don't get me wrong, but I'm looking for something super interesting. I think I might have to go with Lullaby Ingredient, because that was... I don't know, the most interesting horse we've got on the rotor. I don't really want to use my own horses anymore, because I feel like it worked really well when I tried to mix some genes in, so... Let's see. What's first cipher and lullaby ingredient give us? I have really high hopes for this, so I, I'm hoping I don't get disappointed. However, we do have a couple backup breedings to do as well. I want to bring in Fox's Warrior again. I know the coat is super low key, but I think it's really pretty. Let's just go complicated shade. You never know. I'm not looking at their pedigree. They could have really interesting pedigrees, but I'm not going to look. We'll go at Stranger Spring. So we'll just do all different studs, I guess. And maybe this time we'll go with... Sure, Telltale Thursday. Let's see what we get. I feel like sometimes I'm concerned about jumping the gun and being like, oh, this is a brown horse. And then you look at the pedigree or the lineage and it's like the most exotic horses you've ever seen. It's just like skips a generation or something. So I'm kind of thinking since the custom creations were just sort of repeating patterns too often that maybe this is the solution. I was going to do first cipher first, but I don't think I will because I'm too excited for it. So we'll do Telltale Thursday first because I feel like this is going to be kind of boring. Let's see. Um, I have to admit, huge fan of that coat color. But again, there's I don't think there's actually any pattern on that horse, which I really feel like the pattern is where it carries. Yeah, that coat color is magnificent. It is gorgeous silver and I love it so so much. It's just a shame that there's no pattern on her. Oh, technically this the pattern is splash white face, although I would have classed it as a marking, but I guess that's that's the pattern. Okay, a little bit of a disappointment. Gorgeous coat though. We'll go ahead and leave for cipher for right now. And let's see what Fox's warrior has got for us. That was I think the biggest disappointment of today. You are so cute, Colt, but you're not what we're looking for at all. Uh, that is literally just like a bay with like a face marking and some socks. See, this is the kind of horse that I am in love with. I love breeding these kind of horses, but today we're going for very exotic horses. This, I'm literally putting all of my hopes and dreams into this one breeding, and I have this gut feeling that it's not gonna come out very well. 
But it's fine, because we got first cipher, so technically that's a check on the box for at least one. Let's see if we can get a second one, though. Come on! Oh my gosh, that- okay, I- I take my words back. This was the biggest disappointment of today. Oh my goodness, a grade 4 filly that is literally just brown. It is just brown with a star. That just looks like every racehorse ever. I'm so disappointed. Though that batch of stallions that we got or studs that we got sucked. That was terrible. <gasps> Interesting. Looking at this pedigree, first cipher's um coat is actually in the dad's jeans. And yet we got like the most boring bay ever. There's actually two. There's three horses with the same coat color. Oh, sorry, coat pattern. And we still managed to get literally nothing. That sucks. Oh, too bad. Okay, maybe I'll do like one more really quick one. I really, really want to try and get another sort of first cipher because that was just so much fun. We'll get first cipher and let's just go cappuccino crash and see what we get. Yeah. Okay, this this is my last breeding of today. I was just, I didn't want to leave it on like a low note. So even if this horse isn't like super interesting, I'm just hoping it's not a boring bay. That's all I'm hoping for. All right, let's go ahead and skip. What have we got? Okay, as I said, it wasn't a boring bay. That does look like the puzzle piece coat. I don't actually know what it's called. Super cute. And again, I am in love with that chestnut, that particular chestnut. Actually, no, it's, it's not that one. It's it's close to that though. Um, very interesting face markings as well. Again, I wouldn't say this is a horse that would like blow me away if I saw it in real life. Still super cute though, and it's not a bay, so I can't be complaining. However, I think the winner of today was definitely First Cypher. I'm so glad we managed to get this coat into our breeding. We also got some other sort of good ones. Not super successful today. But you know what? I'll take it because we got first cipher. So let me know in the comments who your favorite horse was. And if you have any breeding video ideas that you would like to see me do. And don't forget to join the Discord link down below. And of course, follow me on eBay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.